Hello, I'm back. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> um, it's time for a new run of Oxygen Not Included. Uh, we did our one duper planet uh, challenge sort of thing. <clears throat> and I think we did most of what we wanted to do on there. Um, we got each dupe onto their own planet. We tested out the payload launcher, did a few cool things like that. Hi, Leofar, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> So uh, we're starting a new run today, and I've had ideas for this for a while. It's been in the, it's been on the poll for a while. So let's just hop over and I'll show you the seed. It is rhyme time. Hello. This game's gonna show up. It always takes ages for the game to show up. Actually not showing up, that's kind of annoying. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me, game. Really? Okay. Rookie mistake. All right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it was set to the wrong game. Uh, but yes, we are going to do a new oxygen not included run. So, survival as always. Uh, we're going to go back to classic style for now. Uh, we did enjoy the spaced out style, but this seed is a classic seed that I want to have a look at. And it is rhyme. So here is the seed code. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're excited for Thanksgiving. Oh, that's good. When is that? I never keep track of that. It's it's obviously not a thing in the uh, UK. Right. The seed is S fats. So, it's a rhyme asteroid with volcanic activity. And there is a Stinko swamp with lots of volcanic activity. And there are 16 magma volcanoes on this rhyme asteroid. So, our aim is going to be to make a good colony, like a nice normal colony, like a nice normal run. And then we're going to try and tame all 16 magma volcanoes and probably feed them to stone hatches or something. And we're also going to turn on both story traits because I want to test them both. I believe we have all the mods on. Uh, I'm not going to change any of these settings. We had teleporters and care packages off last time. I'm going to leave them back on. I feel like we explored that and we got what we wanted out of that. So nice, normal. <laughs> no, not taking back stiff. <laughs> the, I'll tell you what, the next Oni run one of, the, one of the poll options will be a max difficulty run, because I want to try it at some point, but not now, no. Um, so yeah, we've got our map. Um, I haven't looked at it too much, except for the fact that I know it's a, a Rhyme Asteroid, which I'm excited to stream because I haven't streamed one before. And there's loads of Magma Volcanoes. But yes. You too can find an interesting map to play with using uh, the website. I always link here. Tools not included. It does show, um, it lets you search for maps based on what they have, like what geysers, what world traits, etc. Um, really useful website. I, I basically use it for every single run I start just to have a look, pick a good place to start. But yeah, my plan is going to be lots of hatch ranching. That's going to be the main thing we do, I think. So, bearing that in mind, we're going to go for a builder. We're going to go for a digger. No. no. Yeah, we're going to go for a digger. We're going to go for a researcher. We're going to want a good rancher. The reason I'm going for these guys first is because the speed modifier is a lot better per attribute for these tasks than the ranching modifier. But you can see here, each level of ranching gives like a plus 10% bonus. Whereas each level of digging, research, and construction gives a plus 25% bonus. So, for now I'm going to go with these three. And the main aim is to just get all the infrastructure for the ranches ready. And then we'll just find another dupe that hopefully has some good ranching skill. And they can ranch. Uh, we're not using the uh, customization thing today. We're just going to roll the old-fashioned way. And what I'm actually looking for is a mechatronics engineer builder. 
I want to start with mechatronics engineering so I can just rush the ranching research and go for it right away. I don't normally do this. I did talk about it on my tier list of dupe traits as one of the skill traits that's actually worth taking occasionally. So I'm going to roll for this for a little bit. It will come with a substantial penalty, but I don't really mind. I guess, I guess it depends on the penalty. Electrical engineering is close. Fine. We want mechatronics specifically. Because normally you have to take five whole skills to get to mechatronics, and that takes a while. And I don't want to be constrained by that. I bet I'm going to click past it, because that's usually how it happens with these rolls. Hmm. Finding pretty much every other skill. But it's... It's fairly big, bold text when it shows up, because it's such a long skill name. So I feel like I won't skip over it. But I could be wrong. I found like 10 electrical engineers at this point. <laughs> so uh, yeah, apologies for the uh, rolling simulator 2022 at the moment. Got to find one at some point. They are rare, but I do just want to start with one. Uh, we uh, we do have the Duke Manager world. I didn't really feel like using it. You can get some artificially high attribute values using it. So I didn't really fancy using it. I honestly didn't think it would take this long to roll it. But it really isn't showing up. I might just give up in a minute. Sort of exosuit dupes. Diver's lungs are always good, but they're quite rare, so... You don't often end up with a lot of them. I guess that's what actually keeps it balanced. This is really annoying me now. Did they remove it from the game? We found like 20 electronics engineers now. I did not think it would take this long. Oh, we just rolled past it. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> right, okay. Never mind. We're not going to bother. We'll, we'll get there the old-fashioned way. We'll just take some normal dupes. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Immune to food poisoning seems good. We'll take pay for the construction. Uh, yeah, germ-resistant digger seems good. <laughs> we don't have to start with mechatronics. I was going to, but... Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, research. Try and get a plus research person. You know, maybe I'll take the plus uh, husbandry on you, just to give you ranch if we want, but you're going to have a lot of stuff to do. I think we'll just take another dude for that. You're a loud sleeper. I don't really want to start with that. Flatulent. We don't. I don't think we want to do that today. God, that took so long. I just want plus science. Mm. I mean, decreased husbandry is fine. <laughs> hey, Neo, sir, how you doing? Uh, yes, we're doing a new uh, we're doing a new world. We're doing a rhyme map with sixteen magma volcanoes on it. So we're gonna have fun with rhyme and just a re relatively normal playthrough. And we are going to uh, try and tame sixteen magma volcanoes. 
I've just spent the last, uh, what, 10 minutes just rolling for a mechatronics engineer and then I rolled past it. So uh, we, we decided not to do that. Yeah, we've got a theme. We've got germ resistance going on. And then a, a biohazardous pay builder. So I think we're going to do that. Uh, so what is a good name? If you'd like to spend some channel points to name the colony, now is a good time. But I want to find a good name that is sort of vaguely volcano theme, but I want to roll for one. The hapless homestead. It's quite neat. They're wrecked up. No. The golden dump. Okay. How how can <laughs> how can I name this to anything uh, other than the golden dump? Well, I thought I thought about the, the the duplicate mod, but I don't like that mod too much because when you select the traits, it gives them different attribute values. Like the 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 values of their attributes aren't quite correct compared to when you roll them. So I don't want to use that unless absolutely necessary, like for the last run, where we wanted just all loners. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're not going to commit to it too hard. We don't need a mechatronics engineer to start with this. So we're just going to embark the golden dump. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Right. So... We've got the squint. We've got the good squints going on. They always start with a good squint. Yes, Rhyme is the cold map. So if we go to temperature, the whole map is very cold. Barely cold enough to grow any mealwood. So we're going to have to heat things up right away, pretty much. Um, but there is some water over here. That's not frozen. It gets much colder the further out you go. The heat map doesn't really show it very well. But it's sort of this border here where it goes from the sort of bluey blue to the, the cyan blue. Cyan blue? Cyan blue. Um, that's where it gets really cold and the water starts freezing. So this shouldn't freeze. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the access... Sh oh, there's a load of water up there. Oh my god, that's a lot of water. Right. I'm thinking about where I'm going to put stuff. Supercomputer here seems good. Door, ladder, fire pole. Yeah, maybe. It's already snowing. It's already snowing here. Cold, cold to cold is a little color variation. Yes, I agree. All right, let's just start thinking. We'll just dig over here to get some resources to start. Let's see, schedule. Uh, I'll do what I usually do. <laughs> All work. Nice. Uh, two downtime and one bedroom will do for now. I want, to, I want to give everyone bedrooms and bathrooms to start, like I normally do. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just go up here, like this. And then we'll uh, pitch pump in or something. And then, while you're doing that, attacking can be uh, high, life support can be very high, and toggling can be very high. And you get build, researching, building, and digging. There you go. Got the true tiles mod. We've got all the normal stuff. I haven't done like the the non forest start in ages, so it's actually quite nice to just have some algae to start. But uh, yes, pitch pump. Uh, we'll just put that here actually, and then we'll probably have a ladder going on the inside here if we need it. What I'm thinking is, this will be the end of the, the base or the, the rows that I normally do. Put the supercomputer here, we'll put the, the research station here. We won't let this water through. <laughs> and then we can have... In fact, what I could even do is I could start tiling this diagonally. Let's do that. I will, I'll dig this. And it will be okay. There's a hatch. We're going to start with a few different hatches. Um, I'm basically going to want to build a big column of hatch ranches at some point. I have a design for it that I've seen online um, that I really want to do. 
So we'll see how that goes. You guys are doing all of that. I guess I guess just keep digging this. And I suppose for now we'll just put the ladder up here. Yeah, ladder can go up here. And then we'll dig this out. This could be the bathroom just for now. Oh gosh, another Neo. <laughs> At the moment we have a, a Catalina, a Harold, and a Pei. Right, so there's our pitcher pump. And we'll uh, obviously actually access the ladder there. We're going to tile this all off. Uh, so let's dig that, dig that. And then we can tile this. And then we'll just keep sealing this off and we'll make this our water tank and we'll pour all of this in there eventually. Yeah, I'm excited! Starting a new only run. It's been a while. And I need to actually give people stuff to do. So there's some doors that can go there as well. You're not idle, you're just you're just panting, that's good. Well, I mean it's not good that you're panting. I don't want any of you to be idle at the moment. We don't want to drown any of our hatches. I don't think that's gonna happen. The water in here is fine. Okay, so let's tile this off. And we'll just keep going uh, with this. So I'm going to be very careful with this. We're actually going to tile that as well. I wonder how much dummy I'll be when I get back to only during winter break. I feel like every time I don't play this game for like a month or two, I, I get much dumber. Harold is picking up sandstone with the power of his brain. So we're going to dig this out. That's why I built this tile here, because it will always remove the tile first, and then the water will flow, and you'll have a bad time. So then we'll build the tile. And we'll put the bathroom and stuff in here. We absolutely need the bathroom first. So for now, just make it... No, that's the wrong order. We'll make it uh, one wash basin and one outhouse here. There we go. I'm just going to speed one up for now. I just enjoy speed running the first bit. Okay, that's all good. So we can dig this. We can tile this. I'm getting pretty close to being done. What I'll do is I'll have a fire pole here eventually and then maybe a transit tube here. I don't know what I'm going to do with transit tubes. I always plan out transit tubes and I never actually build any in the middle of the base. So maybe it'll just be like a utility bit. But we're going to want a bedroom as well. So... Or barracks. At the moment, I'm just going to... I'm just going to put it here. In fact, let's not even... Con yeah, this is fine, because the shine bug won't go in here. Because the bathroom doors will be closed. I just want, don't want the shine bug to shine on the, uh, the dupes. And we'll just dig the oxalite out. When you dig it, the mass reduces in half. But I think the amount of ox oxygen it produces also doubles so I, I don't think there's a problem with digging this out anymore and it's not gonna matter we're gonna be fine this is like um this is not even a forest to start we're not gonna be running out of oxygen okay let's tile that only produce half yeah so the amount of oxygen you get is the same now cool So we're going to have the research station here. Our wise, we're just going to put stuff here temporarily. That can all go here. Uh, we've sealed this off in the hatches, so I'm just going to deconstruct the ration box immediately. Apologies if anyone wanted to uh, be named the ration box. <laughs> wanted their name in the ration box, that's not happening. And then... Yeah, just cots. In fact, I'm just going to, I'm just going to dig this out preemptively. And tile this. Yeah, like this. We'll build the beds here for now. And we'll move them later, but this will do for now. Yeah, there's lots of copper. They weren't lying when they said this uh, seed was metal rich. I know that only affects the actual amount in the tiles, but even then, I mean, there's just vast swathes of copper. There's our uranium. So, furniture goes here. 
And that is just about the right size for barracks. And we do have a little bit of time left, so let's actually tile all of this as well. Just do it with sandstone for now. Eventually we'll replace this all with granite for the decor. And then stations, research can go there. I'm very interested to see what this seed has in store. I know there's a lot of volcanoes and that's about it. We've got a chlorine gas vent here. That's not super useful, but I suppose it's nice if we ever do water weed and squeaky puffs. So I don't think we'll ever do that. <laughs> I just don't really like chlorine vents anymore. Chlorine just doesn't feel very useful in space now because the radiation just kills all the germs. I think we can actually speed to it now, to be honest. You guys are you guys are quite far ahead of schedule. Although you do need to prioritize this stuff first. These guys are very inefficient. Uh, very efficient. They're not very inefficient. That's very mean. I mean to say that. There you go. We each got a bed. We each got. Well, you've got a toilet. That will do. Eventually, we'll add more toilets. And I guess we'll just keep tiling this for now. Because we're going to expand this all out anyways and do our usual uh, 23 wide stuff, I think. Yeah, run in there. And now we can actually research something. So let's go for food next. That's always a good shout. Ah, oh, there's a the hatch. So we do want to put the food somewhere. Maybe we make like a little CO2 pit and put the food in there. We can go down here and do that. Don't want the hatches eating any of the food. Don't do it. Look at all this nice sandstone that you have to eat. You can eat that instead of the nutrient bars. Yeah, it feels like a pretty um, straightforward start. We'll speed to it a little bit. I like Pei. I like Pei's hair. I like that uh, mod that Live Action Pixel was using where all the dupes have different appearances. I've seen that mod. Um, I haven't actually tried it. Did you actually empty your bladder? You did. You didn't, uh... <laughs> you didn't go through the sink. Maybe I shouldn't have put the beds here. Oh well, you'll, you'll wash your hands on the way out anyways. You're just gonna have a dirty bed, I guess? I didn't 100% think that through. All I do is I, I didn't want the beds down here because I don't want them suffocating in their sleep. That's not very uh, cash money. Yes, they're all having a snooze. Yeah, so now you got all, all the germs on your bed. Great. Uh, we can dis uh, disable the uh, disinfect on this. You feel like you want named dupes. Yeah, that's true. Like, each dupe actually has specific lore about them in the game, technically. So that is nice. I'm not sure if they added any lore for the new dupes in the spaced out content, because I haven't really been reading all the log entries. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to move that, those beds. I think we'll just move them up here. That will be the uh, next thing we do. Then I can go here, and then we can just tile all of this. There we go. Shouldn't have any problems digging all of this out. That's fine. Oxygen. We have the oxygen diffuser. I guess we just put that in the um, bathroom for now. Uh, we're going to send all the wires up here like we usually do. Through door columns. And then... We'll dig all of this out and we'll put a ration box down here for the food. For now, I guess I'll just put that here. In fact, actually, the lower we go, the colder it will be. But the longer it will take for the dupes to get the food. So, that is something to consider. Yeah, let's not have the beds <laughs> down here permanently. I'll make this a bit wider than normal. 
In fact, I think what I'll actually do is instead of putting the uh, oxygen diffuser here, I'll put it up here with the uh, the beds. Because we're gonna we're gonna get quite a lot of dupes again to start. <sighs> the only thing is we need heat to uh, grow plants. The chlorine vent is producing heat. This is not a lot of heat because chlorine hardly has any heat capacity. Maybe there's a better source of heat somewhere. But I do need to at least think about that. Bristle blossoms are quite uh, cold resistant. So we might even be better off just doing bristle blossoms considering the vast, vast amount of water we have. That is certainly an option. So let's uh, price behind these. Get these all done as well. Metal refinery, use your base as coolant, haha. <laughs> I have actually done that before when I did a rhyme map a while ago. That is an option, it's not an immediate option. I'm sure we'll find enough muck root for now unless I just go completely ham on the dupes. I guess it depends how many dupes we find. So we can rebuild the ration box now. That's good. We'll just put that down here. There's already a hatch down here, but whatever. This is uh, supercomputer space. Yeah, there's no sand, so this isn't going to leak out. But the plan is definitely to uh, expand this water tank. Maybe just pour all the water in here. That certainly seems convenient. So are you guys actually going to do this? I guess let's change the priorities up here slightly. Fix the fix the floor first. I do like tiling everything just so they can go a bit faster. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the oxygen diffuser up here. Go like that. Tile this and we'll, we'll just fill this with beds. We'll have, we'll have five dupes up here. We'll start with five dupes. And then we'll switch everyone over to these ones. We have got the shine bug over here. Do I just preemptively seal the shine bug off? I feel like maybe I do. We've got plenty of time. We're just going to speed to it for a little bit. Everyone's got their things they're good at. They are doing them. Much appreciated. Yeah, Shine, Gu Shine Bug is going to be mildly annoying. Let's finish all of this. We have... We have the mess table. We'll probably do that next cycle. I want to get the beds up here done so we can move most of the people over here. Just to help stop them getting unrested from the shine bugs. Yeah, like this. That should be enough. Yeah, there's quite a lot of carbon dioxide up here already. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can do better than that. There you go. Yes, enjoy your mealwoods. Oh no, the hatch is trapped. That's not very good. We'll open this door. And then we'll want to dig this out. Yeah, I think the first thing we'll do is just take all of this water... Like, this is a relatively hot part of the map. The last thing I want is this water to freeze, because we already have a load of ice over here. We're going to want to melt the ice. Like, unlike other maps, Rhyme is quite important to keep your... your stuff that you don't want getting too cold in the same area. Like, I might even put the Bristle Blossoms down here. Instead of the ration box. Maybe I'll just, uh... 
Yeah, let's put the ration box down there for now. We keep tiling this. Are you really spreading germs everywhere already? Okay. How did that happen? How did that happen, Kathleena? Then we deconstruct these. We do want the Hello. mess tables to work. Hello there. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I shouldn't have put the beds here. That's like a germ accident waiting to happen. <laughs> it's alright, Leo, but uh, late, late, is, uh, late is better than never. Right, so beds are up here. Uh, mess table. Hmm, if we're going to have the big water tank over here, that's going to get in the way of a lot of stuff over here. Hmm. Batteries count as industrial machinery. No. We could put batteries in the mess hall. Maybe we do that. Yeah, deconstruct this. We'll put doors... Doors here, here, here and here. And then we'll have the mess hall be in here. I'm just trying to figure out how I actually want this bit to be laid out. Also, let's do that. So we keep the food down here to help keep it um, fresh. But I mean, it doesn't matter for these. I just don't want the hatches to eat them. Because they do tend to do that. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. Don't use that until uh, we get the new battery in. I guess for now we'll put the battery there. Do you construct this? And then food-wise, uh, we just have the mess tables. So that's not a mess table, that's a cop. Here, here, here. We'll put in five, because we're gonna we're gonna have five dupes. I wonder who our next dupe will be in uh, 0.2 cycles. Unless they're really bad, I probably am just gonna take them. Yeah, you're doing fine. We don't need any uh, power at the moment, so we'll just leave it disabled for a little bit. We just put some more bathrooms up here as well, just in case. Eventually, what I'll do is I'll lock these doors, and I'll just have more bathrooms on this side. Right, so now we want another 11 tiles over here. So that's where the door will be. Here. We seal that off. Like this. Yeah, so that'll be big enough to be a great hall. We'll get everything else sorted. Right, what is our first printable? Ah, oh, we found a rancher! Wow. Well, there it is. There it is. It's me. We don't want a narcoleptic farmer. And we don't want a, uh... Whatever you are. I mean, you're a pretty good dupe. You're a pretty good researcher, actually. But we already have a researcher. We need a rancher, because we're going to be doing a lot of ranching. You are good, though. Uh, but we're going to take you. Yeah, <laughs> you're... You've got decreased stay cool morale bonus and decreased stay cool. I love it. So we have May. So May is joining the colony. And May gets our first skill point. So we're gonna, gonna get you to ranching straight away. Is that what we're actually gonna do? I mean, the sooner we can start ranching, the better. I want to get these hatches started today. I've got a template I want to build for the, what the hatch ranches are gonna look like. I'm not 100% sure where to put it. I mean, for now, this is going to be where the water resides. I think eventually we're going to put a water tank somewhere else, and we're just going to use this to be a big column of 
ranches. We can start the, the ranches up here. Let the water through. Right, okay, we're done. Um, yes, please do that. You can prioritize ranching above everything else. And then you can dig through here. And then this is going to be the other side of the base. This is the usual thing I do where I do it 23 wide for the main base. Because you can divide it into two really easily. You can divide it into four really easily. And you can divide it into three really easily. But uh, that's just me. I'm not sure whether that's the best thing to actually do or not. But I like doing it. Don't disinfect this. And then I guess the next research is just stuff to make the Great Hall. Seems good. We have lots of people, so labor probably won't be a problem. We could put more ladders over here if we really wanted. Not super fussed at the moment. Yeah, I think my priority at the moment is just get the water handled and then get the uh, get the ranches in place. Yeah. And the good thing about this map as well is there are slime biomes, but the slime is too cold to actually have any germs on it. So they're very it's very easy to excavate. Ah, we've got natural gas guys up here. That's handy. Well, that's heat and power. So we want to go up there as well. Hey. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Working on this for now. I want mesh. I want mesh, uh, mesh tiles as well because I think we're just going to pour water through the the hatch ranches for now when we do this. I'm not sure how big this uh, tank's actually going to end up being. I could dismantle this so we could temporarily move it. I think I want to put the ladder on this side. Also, the supercomputer's here. Let's actually let's actually make this the top of the tank, and this will be the first ranch. So we'll put doors here. Take this. Power. Yes. <laughs> Bad gas vent. Good gas vent. Kept all the hatches away from the food because it's all kept in the box. We're going to need to uh, extend this down. Which is fine. Uh, what, at what point does it get too cold? This point. I don't want to make this too deep. Let's plan out exactly how far we're going to go down. That seems like a reasonable bottom for now. Yeah, there we go. The CO2 will build up in here pretty easily. I'll tile this as well just so the CO2 moves over. Just for now. Yep, you're going to finish that. That's good. I do like how the sandstone looks with this mod. Right, so what I actually want is for the ladder to go down this side. Yeah, you guys have plenty of stuff to do. So the ladder will go down this side. Uh, we'll deconstruct this. I do need to change some of these priorities. Priority 9 this. Priority 9 this. We want to put the pitcher pumps back in. And I think what I'll do is I'll do the normal sort of staggered approach. So as, as the water level lowers, we can pitch a pump out of the different layers. 
I don't think this is going to cause any problems. How's the oxygen actually doing? You guys are breathing a lot. Oh, we never put the oxygen diffuser back in. Okay. Oh, no, it is. It's just here. It's at max pressure. We just need to dig down. Dig down, let the uh, oxygen fall. And build the water cooler. I'm beginning to think I should just put the mess hall here, but we need to dissipate the carbon dioxide a bit first. I'll just put this here for now. We're probably going to move the mess hall. Let's leave the uh, research for now. Because we just need to we just need to let the CO2 out. This should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Keep doing this. We'll break into here. That will help with the uh, oxygen. In fact, I'm just going to keep digging the shaft at least down here. But this will be the bottom of the tank. I want to make sure it stays sort of about 10 degrees-ish all around. We'll make it we'll make it 11 wide for now, like everything else. So then that goes over there. It's 12. Okay. That's gonna be the extent of the tank. So that is what it's gonna look like. Okay. Yeah, let the oxygen out here, that's good. Was indecisive, now not so sure. Yeah, we won't uh, need to dig all of this out for now. I want to get this actually finished first, so you know what, actually... Before we release all of this, we can just build the floor and stuff in this area. Grab all the good stuff out of here. Do we want to sweep everything from the bottom of the water tank before we let all the water in? Maybe. And you know what? We'll dig all this as well. And that'll be a nice big CO2 pit. So, we also need a decor item for this to be a great haul. I guess that could be the next research. So we'll just get the flower pot. It's fine. Floral scent. I do like the uh, the bristle blossoms, and we don't have anyone with allergies. Yeah, I like the idea of keeping the uh, the mess hall here. Okay, I need to give people stuff to do again. You need to build a ladder here. Then you can actually do all of this stuff. There you go. And you can dig all of this out as well, because we're, we're just going to make this where the actual Great Hall is. Because we want all of the stuff that requires water to be near the actual water tank. I think that makes the most sense. I don't know why I even put all this stuff over here. It's fine. Meantime, you guys can use the impromptu uh, mess hall. How are we doing on the germ front? Yes, you're not spreading germs anymore. That's good. Yeah, it works pretty well, actually, just being able to layer the, the pitcher pumps like this. And that'll get all the way down to the bottom. And I reckon all of this water will fill this whole zone. That should be neat. There's our first volcano down there. That's nice. 
There's some ice over here as well. Interesting. Because it's so warm over here, I'm thinking of just growing mealwoods here. Maybe we do the same up here. This is a bit colder. Actually, tiles are cold. You're not going to cause any problems doing this, are you? No. Okay, dig this up. Yeah, that counts as a mess hall now. Guess we just move everyone here. Yeah, there's oxygen down here, so just dig these up, please. Someone's got hypothermia. Nice, nice. And we'll put the uh, flower pot in here. I mean, what I could do is I could put it in the middle here. That, that actually seems fun. Let's do that. Who's got hypothermia? Pay does. Uh, Pay is the builder. That's not ideal. Oh, what's going on with the internet? Oh, we're fine. Just a momentary blip, I think. Yeah, I think we're fine. Yeah, dig this all out. In fact, let's just priority nine this digging. I guess it counts as duties. That's why no one does it, because it's not class as like a digging action, it's an uprooting action. You need your green guns for this. Okay. Yeah, so now we can actually just tile this up. And then we put the uh, we put the plant here between where we're gonna have another set of mess tables. That seems good. Do I want to actually shuffle all this stuff out of here? I mean, how much stuff is in here? Not a lot of stuff. It, it'd probably be pretty quick for me to move this actually. So let's just. Just put a storage bin here and just sweep all of this stuff over here. And we'll keep digging stuff out here. This should be fine. So this is sweep only and all. But please just grab all this stuff. And then how much I think we're gonna put a ladder on the other side as well so we could go up here and we could actually dig some more of this stuff out first I think I'm gonna to want to ladder all of this I'm hoping that's not gonna cause any problems but I don't want the dupes spending ages trying to get underwater to grab random things. Also, we need to put a plant in here, and it is actually warm enough for a plant in here. That's why I put the the hall down here, so that the plant doesn't stifle and prevent us from having a great hall. And then we can just deconstruct all of this stuff. Okay, let's sweep up. I'll do the next sweep command when we actually do all of this. And then we don't want to unleash any of the sand. So we can do this. And that's pretty much it. And then we'll have to go underwater for the rest of it, I think. We can dig that out. Uh guess this will just be doors. Hmm. 
Yes, it should be fine. <laughs> Pay is unfortunately underwater again. You know what, while you're here, you can actually dig this out. Yeah, there we go. This should be fine. We've got an attribute increase. Catalina got more construction skill. That's nice. And then we'll build the ladder over here. Just so that we can get across everywhere. And then... Hmm. I don't think we just do this. I wonder who our fifth dupe will be. So the thing about batteries is, they do produce heat. It's not a lot, but it's something. So I'm hoping if we put another battery maybe over here, we can grow meal woods in this area as well. In fact, I think, well, I'll, I'll get the jumbo batteries. I mean, actually, the regular batteries are better for leaking heat out. <laughs> so maybe I'll just use the regular batteries. But let's get this sorted first. We've got a bit more time before we need to do food. We're still getting a load of muck root. Definitely just start off the muck root. Catalina's got a skill point. Advanced research, milady. Yeah, this is looking good. Getting this all excavated. I'll put a uh, storage bin up here too. And then all this stuff can get stored up there. Yeah, if I leave this like that, then we should, shouldn't should leak any water in here. I really don't want to do that. Hey, and a skill point so you can get building. It's fine. Yeah, I'm not going to go too hard on the mechatronics. I thought I was going to, but we, we can we can just do a normal thing for now. Everyone's getting hypothermia. <laughs> Feels bad, man. In fact, because everyone's getting hypothermia, maybe we should just priority, prioritize the sweep stuff while everyone's getting cold. Everyone's going to get cold very easily working on this. Yeah, this is nearly done. So sweep only or uh, sweep... No, not mop. Sweep. Sweep all of this. And just do that for a while. There's a new bin. It's Mr. Bin. Mr. Bin and Mrs. Bin. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this wall. And then we, we've got to make sure that we don't let the water out preemptively. So I'm going to watch this very carefully. Because if we let the water out, it's just going to go down here and freeze. And that's there we probably go. It's probably going to end us. Hey, Max, how you doing? We're uh, we're, do we're starting a new run. Uh, we're on a rhyme map. And at the moment, we're just trying to make a big water tank so we can pour all this water in. Hello. Hi, Laura Plays the Sims. How you doing? Um, yeah, it's exciting. New run time. Uh, I picked a map. That is Rhyme, and it has 16 magma volcanoes on it. And we're going to try and do something fun with that. So, uh, yep, the seed is here. We have our story traits on. We're also going to try and do the um, the Somnium Synthesizer. So we're going to get a large amount of dupes on the one planet and try and get that to work somehow. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to watch this very carefully, because as I was just saying, if we let this water out at the moment, uh, it's all going to go down here and freeze. So I need to be very careful, actually. Everyone's got hypothermia, it's great. Yeah, how goes it with the farming uh, farming plans, Max? God, you guys are actually very slow on, on speed. I don't think 
how I've queued this up is going to cause any issues. I just want to sweep all this stuff out of here now before the volume of water gets uh, too much. <laughs> it's all right. We've, we've got a single oxygen diffuser. I'm sure all you guys will be fine. <laughs> yes. Plenty of uh, dupes and uh, bins to be renamed here. <laughs> Harold, you think you're cured of hypothermia, but that's going to last for about five minutes. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to get all of this before the water drops. So we'll drop the water and then we'll fill this in. A good premise for a space theme movie. Yes. We'll need to sweep all of this as well. So grab all of this. We'll speed to it again. You don't actually have that much building left. And the amount of water in here isn't enough to really actually cause us any problems. So that's good. Oh, look at the messy room. Where's the messy room? <laughs> We've got a new dupe. Alright, who's it going to be? We've actually got our rancher super early on. Um, so that worked out really well. Um, yeah, let's take a new dupe. Uh, plus 11 strength is pretty good. Uh, these decreased stats don't matter. Although, what I'm actually going to do from now on is I'm going to pay attention to the decreased stats and I'm going to set their errands so they don't do them. Thus preventing them from being an issue. But yeah, just having you to pull everything around seems pretty good. I mean, you you have the strength as well and more interests, but you're a mouth breather, so that is a that is a no. And you're another rancher, actually. Do we want another rancher? I think we just want another rancher, because we're going to have lots of hatches. That's the plan. We're going to tame all these magma volcanoes and feed it all to hatches. I think we just take another rancher. That's pretty good. You can't cook. That's fine. You can also be a backup doctor. So you can go for farming too. Uh, there you go. And Harold, you can go for digging, because we need someone with hard digging. And then priorities. So uh, Camille didn't have any bad skills. So that's fine. And then you can minor in doctoring. You can also minor in decorating, and you can both minor in farming. That's pretty good. Yeah, five dupes. Five beds, five dupes. Also, let's not let this let's not let the shine bug in here. There was a hatch in here that was trapped. I don't want to let the shine bug in the bedroom. That would be a bad idea. In fact, while we're doing this, I do actually want to separate the shine bug off. So let's just do this very quickly. Uh, construction. There we go. Mad Max. Yeah, I, I understood. The, I understood the reference there, fun. Got extra athletic. That's always nice. Yeah, store all this stuff before it gets really wet. And yeah, you've got the Great Hall now, so that's pretty good. Um, put another mess table there for now. It's nice. Yeah, we're not doing any research for now. I don't think we desperately need any research at the moment. We just need everyone to just haul stuff. So, do that on speed. I guess we can go up to speed 3. Grab the things. I get the feeling there's probably a large volume of material here as well, which isn't helping. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you exhausted? That's not good. Did you, I think I need to add more downtime. We'll go to two bedtime eventually. I was kind of hoping we could stick to one bedtime for now, but it's backfired. You know what? You can just get up now. There you go. I always have this quandary about bedtime, because if you give them two, they'll often oversleep. If you give them one, then there's a chance they'll miss it and then they'll get exhausted. But what I tend to do is I tend to go for one bedtime slot early on, when they've got enough time to actually do stuff. And then when they start running out of time to do stuff, I give them two bedtime just to make sure they actually go to bed on time. So yeah, we've got about four days worth of food, but we keep digging. I think we do start putting in the, uh, the meal woods. In fact, I've realized this heat is probably going to slowly, slowly going to lose the heat in this area. Do 
Maybe we start with Bristle Blossoms. When they wake up anyways, his stamina is at 100%. They will, but only if it's not a... Only if it's not a bedtime slot. Because if it's... If they're on a sleep-only schedule, they'll sleep the whole time even if their stamina is at 100%. Whereas the way we've got it at the moment, they'll wake up as soon as their stamina reaches 100% because it's not bedtime. But when it is bedtime, they'll often be in bed at 100% stamina and they'll just stay there. Hey, we trapped the shine bug. That's pretty good. Uh, you do need to do the outhouses. You know, I'm beginning to think, how many how many bristle blossom seeds do we actually have? Let's have a look. We have four. It's not very many. We have 14 mealwoods. I think it'll be easier to do bristle blossoms in the long run, because we have a lot of water. We'll need to find an extra source of water. And ultimately, we'll need to get some heat going, which will be primarily from the uh, natural gas. Um... Yeah, thank, yeah, thanks for coming along, Laura Plays The Sims. I'm usually streaming from 7 to 11 GMT-ish on weekdays. I'm usually playing Oxygen Not Included, so feel free to follow if you want to see more of this uh, run. And if not, I have a YouTube channel where I upload all the VODs and silly Oni-related memes and things. But uh, yeah, have a good rest. Thanks for the follow. Thank you very much for the follow. I, pre I do appreciate the company. Oh, you guys are really getting hypothermia, aren't you? That's really bad. Harold's, Harold's doing the dirty deed that must be done. It would be nice to get a plumb bathroom up right away, but I think we're going to kind of struggle on the uh, keeping a, a plant to absorb the excess water warm. I think we're going to struggle on that part. Also, just finding the seed. I think we're going to have to sieve it and have the excess clean water go into bristle blossoms. I'm the, I'm the crazy type of only player. What's that supposed to be? Who, who's who's a good example of a normal type of only player then? Is Max a normal only type only player type? Oh, I'm just taking, taking on stupid challenges. Uh, yeah, I've decided the challenge this time is going to be a little more restrained in that it's mostly a normal run, except there are 16 volcanoes and we're going to try and use them somehow. Like we could do a normal run at the same time as this challenge. It wasn't like last time where one dupe a planet was just making stuff really, uh, really crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Leofar. Right. Yeah, keep grabbing all this stuff while you can. Because I don't really want it to stick around. Yeah, we're going to need hydroponics if we're going to do bristle blossoms. You know, I'm getting kind of nervous. Maybe we do just plant a couple of mealwoods. Like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant... You need five per dupe. So let's do five here. Let's do five here. We'll start hedging our bets a little bit. Because... Hopefully there'll be enough heat for some of these to grow. And then we'll, we'll tile this. Start planting those. Oh yeah, we need to dig this as well. Yeah, reasonable. Plant needs some vertical space to grow. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I like it. I'm not really sure what my style is. I think my style is usually just playing on classic and trying to make something really organized and then getting mildly frustrated when I can't get it super organized. And then I'll do like stupid challenges or crazy challenges to try and mix it up a little bit. I quite like the lights out thing, but most of the difficulty in that mod where the dupes can't do anything if it's dark without a light was early game. Eventually, it was just going to become a normal run, except everyone's in exosuits, because the exosuits have lights. And that's what I find, is a lot of these challenge runs, the challenge makes the early games harder, but there's not a huge amount of incentive to progress into the late game. Whereas, doing a normal run, early game is usually pretty easy, and then you have lots of challenges in the late game when you, you're trying to do things at large scale, and 
stuff. Like you actually get to the more interesting meat of the game without sort of getting overwhelmed. I don't know, that's just my take on it. Yeah. I think what I might even do, like these do produce heat. I might just put more batteries in just to try and heat these for now. I don't know. Space heaters are so bad. Like they produce a lot of heat, but they consume power. Like these don't produce as much heat, but like it's hardly any power loss. Probably want wires going up here eventually, anyways. This is all done. It's almost all done. I have just told you to do all this. I think it is important that we do this. Yeah, let's speed up a little bit. We can we can dig we can dig that metal as well. Yeah, I'll dig this. We'll leave that all over here for now. And then we'll let the water out this way. So we're going to have to ladder this way again. I'll just build this ladder... Yeah, I'll just build this ladder all the way up for now. And go up to there. They're growing at the moment because we're giving them hot-ish dirt. The dirt is warm. But it's not going to last forever. But this will hopefully get us to the point where we've got enough food uh, for bristle blossoms. But yeah, all these uh, all these caustic biomes are actually super cold. There is heat over here, but again, the chlorine is hardly any heat. Like, this is maxed out on the pressure, and it's already, like, negative temperatures again. The natural gas is much better for that. A, because it's hotter, and B, because the heat capacity is higher. So I think long term, that's what we're going to want to do for the heat. Yeah, I'm not going to go crazy on dupes. We're just going to have five dupes for now. At least until we get food and the bathrooms sorted. We do have two ranches, so we've lucked out on that for later. Also, we have the... We don't have the supercomputer yet, but that's fine. Yeah, so when you're running it on one bedtime slot, you want to make sure that all your dupes get to bed during that slot. So I always put it the last one before day. And so long as they're heading to bed before the day flips over, they'll get to bed and they'll sleep on time. That's the, uh, that's the important thing. Yes, yeah, so you've unfortunately woken up because you're suffocating. It is quite time-consuming moving all this stuff. Maybe I should just do this later when we're uh, a bit more in the clear survival-wise. I don't know. There can't be too much stuff down here. These storage bins are almost full. I'm just going to dump this and we can refill it with the sweep-only stuff, obviously. Yeah. We can actually just dig straight up and let this all out now, because there's plenty of room in here for this tiny little bit of water. So that might make things a bit less complicated. And then once we've swept all of this out of here, we'll seal this off and then we'll actually let the water out. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> Grab all the dirt. Precious, precious dirt. You must be close. Yeah, there's not too much here. There is a lot of metal here. But that is helping. <laughs> okay. That was a very small amount of water. I wasn't actually watching what happened. I think it must have just got caught on this. Hmm. Not 100% sure how that happened. Whatever. 
We'll seal this up and we'll just watch it very carefully when this is actually ready. I never really understood the schedules. I do the shifts, but I just end up copying the default one and add some downtime here and there at most. Yeah, I feel like I don't fully understand it either. I think I don't think there's a perfect solution apart from just having all of your dupes on a different schedule and stuff. But some of the recreation buildings take so long to use that dupes will end up missing their bedtimes if you're not careful. I think what's actually a good way of doing it is putting the bedtime slot in and then having a downtime afterwards. Also, I do want to sweep this. I want to sweep that and I want to put the, uh, the bottle emptier in here. So maybe we just do it like this. We just put water in here only. Yeah, we can uh, we can take this up now. Oh no, there's a little shine nymph. This little shine nymph is going to get drowned. Maybe he'll make his way back up. I kind of doubt it. Oh, the sand fell and that caused the water to to glitch. Or not glitch, but just flow over this way. Yeah, that's fine. Well, it shouldn't happen again, so... We just dig this out. I should stop that from being a problem. I do like the whole sandstone motif we've got going on here. The mealwoods are still growing at the moment, so that's good. There's no seeds available, so we need to grow these. That's fine. We do have people with farming skill, uh, or the, the learned skills anyways, so that should help us multiply our seeds. But I'm sure we'll dig up more. Like where to put bath time, before sleep, after sleep, but also they can use the bathroom during downtime, and it's all very confusing. Yeah, I kind of agree. I, I just try not to worry about it too much. I just give them at least five, like late game, I just give them at least five downtime. You're idle now. Alright, we need to dig this out. This is all done. I think we just dig this all out now. We finish this ladder here. Yeah, let it all out. Very nice. <laughs> that might be the thumbnail, actually. It's the big water tank. I believe in you, Shine Nymph. You can make it. I believe in you. You're, you're not going to stay trapped. You're smarter than that. Okay. Well, that went without too many problems. Put that there. I mean, eventually we'll make this a mesh tile, but we haven't got that researched yet. So all of this water should fit in here. So we'll finish this off and then we'll sweep all this out before it's too late. So let's speed to it again. This ration box isn't really doing anything. But yeah, hopefully you can, yeah, you can grab all this stuff without going into the water too much. So this was a good time to sweep this all up before it gets too full. And then we'll want to start putting, like, pumping infrastructure in there and things too. But for now, it's just going to be a ladder simulator while we uh, load this. Because <laughs> I don't want dupes getting wet and getting hypothermia and being really slow. There's a lot of stuff in here, though. I could probably fit another oxygen diffuser in here. That's probably a decent idea. And we can tile all of this. And then the wire for that. I'm just going to take it down here. Blow that off. We'll use this wire eventually, but for now it's uh, pretty useless. Yeah, everyone got to bed on time. No one's running in the uh, wheel. It's not very important, apparently. It probably explains why you're all suffocating all the time. Let's uh, priority 9 that. Coal generators are definitely our friend on this run. We could even just get coal generators and put them here and then have the hot CO2 just keep the plants warm. That's probably what we actually do.
Yeah, maybe we just go for that. We'd want the smart batteries before we do that as well. Hmm. Once we get super hard digging, we'll come in here, grab the lead, and then we'll make some automation for the bathrooms. And then we'll start going the smart power route with that, with this refined metal here. You usually start with a big lump of uranium on maps that don't have a lot of it already. And there's always lead around that uranium. You can use that for some decent things. Let's empty this again. You're just running around the bottom now. I guess my plan didn't entirely work. All right, let's speed through it. You guys shouldn't be too much longer with this. Then actually, you know what? I'm just going to tile this, and then when we dig all of this debris, it's not going to end up falling in the water tank. And then... I guess we'll leave that end. That's fine. Yeah, keep grabbing the stuff. Grabby, grabby. <laughs> kind of feeling not picking that uh, plus 11 supplying person at the moment. That would probably help with all the, the vast quantities of stuff down here. But we're almost there. Yeah, I think these plants will stay reasonably warm just because we'll keep delivering room temperature dirt to them. Yeah, the initial heat is already dissipating out. We're going to want to keep generating more heat. It's partly what these batteries are supposed to be for. Just put these up. This. We'll let us sort the wires out later. What priority is that? Yeah, that's priority 5, that's fine. We're unleashing 16 volcanoes, 16 magma ones, or including metal. Nah, it's just 16 magma ones, 16 regular magma volcanoes. It's, uh, all on this one planet. And I think there's even more volcanoes on the, uh, the teleporter planet. Oh my god, we got... <laughs> so we got a plus 9 husbandry guy, but with minus husbandry. It's not very good. Plus 11 builder with bottomless calories. Ooh. I feel like I have to take them. That's ex so much extra building input. But then we're going to be kind of hurting for food. We're going to need 6,500 calories a cycle. It's going to be a challenge. But it's a layer as well. Hmm. I don't want Murph leaves. I feel like this is definitely the challenging one, but I think plus 11 construction is kind of too good to ignore. I think we take the other builder. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then that will be the last dupe we have for a while. We'll make another bedroom up here, or barracks up here. This will be a small barracks. And then and then we really need to stop hiring more dupes, because we're going to start running out of food. Um, but I'm not going to turn down plus 11 building. Make this early. In fact, what were your skills again? Sorry, I didn't actually look at you, Lara. Let's look at you in your moment of glory. I'm not the printing pod. So you have Iron Gut, um, Bottomless. Yeah, we knew about the Bottomless, and you can't do Doctoring. So we don't need to lower any priorities, so we can just increase your building. And that will do. And then skills-wise, we already have someone with improved building. We want someone to get up to Demolition. You already have a load of building skill. I'm actually going to head you towards mechatronics. So we can start on that a bit sooner. So you can take supplying for now. There you go. Enjoy your hat, Lyra. I presume that's how you pronounce it. You stop worrying about bottomless stomachs or mouth breathers. You usually end up with so much food and oxygen it doesn't matter at all. That's true, but very early on, if you take too many of them, then you're going to have real problems. But 
yeah, late game, it doesn't matter so much. I really don't like the mouth breathers just because it's basically, like, the amount of extra oxygen they breathe is so much. It's basically just two dupes. And it's almost never worth it from an attribute point of view from how many extra points you get. So, I don't think I've ever actually taken a mouth breather, but I, I take bottomless calories, uh, bottomless stomachs people quite a lot. But yeah, our food's only gonna last us a couple of days now, so we need to actually start um, doing a few more things. Try expanding this out as well. Like this. There we go. Yeah, these plants will grow pretty soon. Each one of these is one dupe. I like separating them into like blocks of five. We're using the regular batteries because they end up producing more heat than the jumbo batteries. Right, you guys are almost done with this. You are almost done with this. Got an attribute. Extra athletics? I do always like the extra athletics. I'm pretty sure Mouth Breather is plus 100%. Or at least it was when I recorded my video about the traits. And I don't think they changed it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Harold, what are you doing? Yeah, I know you like digging, but like, steady, steady on. You can uproot the uh, meal with as well. Bottomless calories is plus 50%. But I think I'm pretty sure Mouth Breeder is plus 100%. Oh, I need to put in another mess table. I'll just put in seven at this point. <laughs> but we'll fill this water tank uh, next cycle. Yeah, that still counts as a barracks. That's good. Yeah, we're already really low on food. I mean, we will just do more digging, so we are going to find more. But, um, yeah. We're definitely going to plant bristle blossoms in the hatch ranches. That is the plan. Everyone's going to bed. They're all sleepy sausages. <laughs> We've actually only got one dude here. Harold is a dude. Yeah, everyone else is just a lady. Yep. I always find it funny how when you have when you're uh, playing Overwatch and you have a team where it's like all female characters, one of the characters will usually have a voice line that says that acknowledges it, like <laughs> let's show those boys what for or something. <laughs> I like Overwatch. <laughs> I'm still annoyed by all the decisions they made with Overwatch 2, but I'm not gonna deny that it's fun to play. I'm quite satisfied just playing that game and not buying anything. Yeah, you guys must be done soon. Yeah, there we go. So now we can let the, uh, the water out. So let's do this. That should be enough to do everything. Let's watch very carefully and see what happens. <laughs> Catalina, you're about to get very wet. I don't know why you're cheering. Yeah, so the water is all just flowing down here. It was the sand falling earlier that made a mess. So this should just drop all the water in here. No quiddle. Yeah. Nice little waterfall. <laughs> Ayo. <laughs> well... Well, I mean, you can see for yourself, Leo, Leo for how, how uh, Kathleen is doing. Yeah, that's uh, all the water for the foreseeable future. So you need to plant more mealwoods in here. And I think next we just do advanced research. 
Uh, we could remove this battery as well. Let's actually uh, disconnect that very quickly. We've still got play players here. Who's idle? You're idle. Pay. Why are you idle? Um, yes, we want to dig over here. We want to make more room for the hatch ranch and stuff. So just dig all of this out. Just go all the way over here. You're probably going to get very cold. That's fine. This is just ice. Uh, let's just make this priority one digging, because I don't particularly need this doing anytime soon. But yeah, water is wet. We've got most of the uh, materials out of there. We want the liquid pump as well. And yeah, we're just going to do bristle blossoms. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of putting... Because this isn't going to be the ranch. This is going to be the ranch. This is the top of the water thing. Also, I just realized I've done something very stupid. This should this should not be a uh, tile. I should have flipped this around, but it looks kind of silly when they're flipped around. There you go. That can go underwater. So all that time sweeping it out, and now they're all just gone. Okay. It's pretty good. Yeah, you'll get more mealwoods uh, doing this as well. So, we'll ladder over here for now. We'll dig this all out as well. This could all be priority one. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's going to take a while to drain all this water. And then we can keep going... Well, I mean, this is going to be the actual main axis shaft once this is done. So... Let us extend this up here. If you didn't know, you can hold shift and uh, go up with the ladder. And then it'll let you... It'll let you do it without dragging it all over the place. So we'll just keep going up here, and then we'll make a liquid lock or something, and then we'll uh, set up natural gas. I think we're going to do that quite quickly. Because we don't want it to stay too cold for too long. There's a geyser over here as well. I wonder what this geyser is. I do want to investigate that. It could be something very useful. Yes. In fact, let's priority five this. And then let's cancel this and then you can still get up here and do all this stuff. That seems good. Water's still pouring in. Yeah, looks like we are harvesting. Oh no, we aren't harvesting some of the mealwoods. They haven't grown yet. It's fine. Telescope! Space! <laughs> Rockets! You're gonna send all the dupes to different planets? No. We're not doing that yet. Supercomputer can go there. It's favorite spot. I was doing some wiring in real life um, a couple of days ago. Because we were removing our uh, broken extractor hood. And I needed to disconnect all the wiring. Um, and then reconnect reconnect it in a safe enclosure. Because the previous guys who owned the house, the electrician, like, I think the previous owner did half the electrical work themselves. And it was a big bodge. Um, and I didn't electrocute myself, so I think I did pretty well. But I feel a lot more confident, confident about doing wiring and stuff now that I've learned a lot about electrical stuff from my job. I mean, I'm not an electrical engineer, I'm a civil engineer, but... I work with a lot of electrical engineers, and I think I'm slowly picking stuff up. Right, so we want stuff for Bristle Blossoms, and we want the Critter stuff as well. Let's go for that. Let's go for Hydroponics. We've got enough people now. I think we can just start researching full-time. It's not going to be an issue. More Abyssalite over here. I'm very curious to what this is. We should find out very quickly, because we have the, the hard digging. Although, actually, we don't want to dig this tile. That's the tile that actually releases the uh, contents of the thing.
Well, that's still taking ages. I'm not sure if the different geysers make different sounds or not. I don't think they do. Right, what is it? Hmm. I guess it'll be this one that reveals it. Oh my god! It's a water geyser. Okay, that's that's perfect. It's just hot water. Like, well, I mean, 95 degrees water. That's exactly what we needed. Holy crap. Okay. So, we can just let this out. And that's going to melt all of this ice over time. And then we can... Then we'll have hotter water that we can use for things. Okay, that's really good. I think I let... I think I literally just let this out immediately. We start just heating up this whole area. There's even a light here. That's so good. What's over here? This is a geode. There are geodes on this map as well, I believe. Water geysers. Just regular water geysers are quite rare. 7.5 kilograms per second. But normally you find cool steam vents. And you have to sort of condense the steam or get it hot enough for steam turbines. It's kind of fiddly. If you're trying to electrolyze it. Water geysers, it's just 95 degrees. You can just put it straight in an electrolyzer. Um, and it's more of it as well. That is so good. It's probably going to be the basis of a lot of what we do here. Also, we let some sand out here. Still want to let all this water down here. There's polluted ice up here. I don't think that's going to melt anytime soon. I'm really pleased about that. The onwards are still growing, so we'll keep growing them for now. I think we just keep expanding this at the moment. This is eventually going to be the uh, the edge of this part of the base anyways. And then because the chlorine vent is here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this exosuits and then exits and stuff. Like instead of having the, the ladders and the fire poles here, I'm just going to have atmo suit docks and then a ladder and a fire pole and then they'll just leave the base that way. I think. Yeah, that's so good. That The whole water's going to come out here and it's just going to start melting all this ice. Uh, we'll probably want some insulated tiles just to make sure it doesn't get too hot, but I really don't think that's going to be a problem. I think we just let that erupt for ages. Right, let's speed up again. And start digging all of this out as well. Getting more meal lice, we're getting more seeds. This is probably a bit overkill of food. I just want to get the seeds going. There we go. We put another bed in actually. If it's not actually too cold for these meal ice, we probably have a bit more leeway for hiring some extra dupes. I don't know why, but I've always called it hiring instead of printing. But we're not paying the dupes, so they're definitely not getting hired. Yeah, I think the batteries are producing enough heat to sort of keep these things alive. It's not too bad. I do want to move on from uh, the outhouses. Also, I need to dig that out. Yeah, I'm going to keep going for quite a while tonight because I started a little bit late. Um, and I'm actually working from home the whole week because of my broken toe. 
I'm not sure I've told anyone. I broke my toe uh, at the weekend. Um, I almost fell down the stairs, and in doing so, I put all of my weight on the uh, on the toe. And it's all angry and purple at the moment. Um, I can still walk and stuff, but it's very uncomfortable with shoes. Um, <laughs> so I'm not I'm not driving to work this week. And hopefully it heals by the time it's next week, because there's site visits I'm supposed to be going on. Yeah. <laughs> what did I fall down the stairs for? <laughs> I, I just I just like falling down the stairs. Oh boy, here I go falling down the stairs. I think that's like the first time I've done that. Um, and actually like had a major injury from it. It does not happen very often. Also, I actually fell down the stairs because we didn't uh, we didn't have the carpet in place yet. We replaced the carpet today, and it was just floorboards for the last two months. So I probably slipped on the floorboards. Because it was more uneven than usual, or something. That's probably why I actually fell down the stairs. But I know you were just being silly, so that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, I'm not providing any foot pics uh, on the Discord. That is that is a, that is a OnlyFans thing only foot pics. So uh, don't expect any pictures there. Right, we're still draining all this water. This is taking a while. Yeah, we'll just keep growing mealwoods until it tells us it's too cold. Yeah, hot water. Hot water, woo. Actual, actual central heating going on. Maybe that's what we do. We just uh, pump the water around here and use thermosensors or something. That seems good. How far are we off um, super hard digging? A little bit. Do you want to get some of this metal? Fine metal. We could rock crush copper. There's so much copper here, it's not really going to cause any issues. But, I mean, whatever. Yeah, this seems fine. Everyone's behaving, everyone's doing good stuff. Uh, we did actually break up here. There's another geyser here. I do want to look at that. So, let's see. I'm going to have to put in a liquid lock for this. It's all relatively cold, so that's good. That means we can just go up like this and not worry about slime lung. This is the, this is the reason I like Rhyme, is because there's no slime lung, because it's too cold. We... I'm not sure this is going to be part of the main base, so I'm just going to put the liquid lock here. We're not going to match the rest of the base here. I think, I think the base, the roof of the base is going to be like this level. Eventually. Depending on what's going on with the other geysers. So we're just not going to worry about that. So... I'll do what I usually do. Which is just like this. And I think we do just dig the ice. Oh. There's not quite enough room. Hmm. What do I do? I could just make a smaller one. Like, if I just uh, pour liquid on this bit, that should be okay. Yeah, so what I'll do is... Sorry, I shouldn't be paused for this, should I? Um, put a tile there, put a tile there. And then cancel this. Dig all of this. We don't want to let the natural gas out.
Yeah, I think we just do it like that. We get a little bit of water on all three of these. We're not too fussed about the polluted ice, we'll just dig it. This water is going to eventually freeze. It's fine room-wise, I can build directly left of the geyser. Oh yeah, I can. I can build the door and stuff here. Yeah, you're right, actually. I can do that. Yes. Okay, let's just do that. Then. I like doing it this way because we can put proper doors in it and then it's a bit more secure. Yeah, okay. That's not quite right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, because we can, we can literally just do this. That is fine. Thank you for... Thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah, so this is what I usually like to do for liquid locks. I was a bit thrown off because we've got the neutronium there, but yeah, it's fine. So... The door here... Bottle emptiers, and then you just empty your liquids into here. Ordinarily, we want to do oil. I don't think it's ever going to get that hot. So we'll just put water in there. It'll get that hot eventually, but not for a while. And then we can actually just build out the natural gas room. The issue with this is that we need to actually um, seal this off. We need to build all this stuff first. So let's actually priority nine this. I don't want to mess this up. So we'll dig this. And then we'll priority one all of this stuff. And we'll get a partial liquid seal here before we finish it. Just to make sure none of the gas leaks out. This outhouse still needs doing. You aren't getting any... Okay, these mealwoods are starting to get cold. That's not good. I'm getting the hot over there. It's nearly done. I think we just sweep all of this up now. Let's just sweep all of this up. We'll drop that in here. In fact, you know what? Everyone everyone collectively just sweep this now. And then we don't have to worry about it. Sweeping is always faster with more than one person. Because instead of sweeping up reducing ever reducing amounts, they'll just grab all the liquid and stop it from flowing. So if you're gonna sweep up a large body like this, always just get multiple people to do it. Otherwise it'll take one person way, way longer than it would have otherwise taken. Oh, okay, that's fine. There we go. And you're all making the uh, algae noises. Uh, walking around all the algae. I never noticed that before. It's a really loud noise. Right. Water is done. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make sure this gets built properly. Where am I going to want to put polluted ice? Probably nowhere. It's probably just going to stay frozen. Is it? No, it's probably not going to stay frozen forever. I mean, I think I think we actually just dump it in here, next to the geyser. Okay, let's watch this for a little bit. I recently tried tricking gas guys are pressure by stacking liquids on it and having five kilograms on the second row i was so confident this would work but it didn't yeah almost emily i actually did that on stream on one of my previous playthroughs we tried to tame a cool steam vent by doing that um with petroleum um and it guys just don't work like that it says they work like that but they don't it, it looks like it's off gassing but it's not actually producing anything it's so sad that was on which run was that on? I think that was on my last run I tried doing it. Like the 400 dupes challenge. Which you can find here. Along with all my other Oni bots. Yeah, there goes the pleated ice. So, yeah, build this, please. And then we'll fill this with... 
Oh, if we fill this with water, it's just going to freeze. Hmm. We need polluted water to actually do that. A slight wrinkle that I did not fully consider. Um, there is polluted water up here. What temperature does this actually freeze at? Yeah, this is this is pretty much on the cusp of freezing already. Hmm. If I just dump hot water in there, that will freeze. Eventually. Because it's so cold up here. I think we do just dump polluted water in it, but we have to actually get to the polluted water. Okay. Let's let's do something a bit silly. And go underneath the natural gas geyser for this. So let's stick this. Not research. What do we got? Nature reserve. Hydroponic farms for the bristle blossoms. Okay. Yeah, I think what we actually do is we just dig uh, up here. That is another geyser. I'm pretty sure any liquids we get from the geyser, if we get them, it's going to be too hot for that. But yes, we should have a look at that as well. That is definitely fair. Um, so... I don't know exactly what we're going to do. There's a lot of obsidian here. We're going to have to... We're going to have to bodge this a little bit. Uh, so we're going to have to dig around it the long way if we're actually going to get in here. Which is certainly possible. Yeah, that's fine. Oh! Oh, we're already letting the natural gas out. Why did you dig this out first? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, God. That's already... Oh, it's already falling out. Crap. I literally put this as priority one. Re. Okay. we got to emergency seal this now. So now it's going to be a little bit of natural gas floating around. That's fine. Tony 3D, do you, do you know the trick to tell what a buried geyser is without uncovering it? Yes, I do. But it it's a fun surprise. Like, I just like the surprise. We're going to find out in like a couple of cycles anyways. So it's fine. But... Yes, I do know the trick. You can you can go in there. You can actually yellow alert for people who want to find it sooner. What you do is you go in duties. You'll see a little five here uh, for um, researching the geyser. You put that to yellow alert, and then it will tell you in the yellow alerts list what the geyser is. But I'm not going to do that because I like the surprise. But it is totally valid. We're going to get so much natural gas through here. Oh, that's going to be so annoying. You guys do need to do this immediately, though. Right. Yeah, you are doing it. Yeah, it w yeah, it'll probably get deleted eventually. It's just annoying. I shouldn't have even queued up the errand. There's so much gas pressure in here. I mean, we do want it a little hotter in here, so maybe that was intentional. I don't know. <laughs> We can certainly just put the, uh... Maybe the polluted ice will just melt now. That would be fun. Yes, please. Please do that. So I don't like the natural gas floating around the base because it gets in the way of plants. Um, like... It causes plants to go on and off if there's just a little blob of natural gas. It doesn't actually cause any problems, it's just very visually annoying. And there's actually quite a lot of it coming out here because this is currently erupting. So, yeah, that's not ideal. Uh, we have dug up some slime. So there is more police oxygen coming out, which is not a problem. Because there's no germs on it. Because it's too cold. Uh, I don't think we want any more dupes. 
Definitely not an anemic person. Um, building, cooking, and machinery is decent. I think we just take the hatchling eggs. We're gonna we're gonna ranch hatches anyways. So let's do that. And then uh, yeah, maybe you can get ranching. And we're not quite there yet. That natural gas is going to take a while to sink down, but it will sink down. It'll be annoying. Unless... Okay. <laughs> Hear me out. We build a liquid lock here very quickly. That doesn't feel like a particularly good waste of time. Uh, so let's see. That's going to be ceiling level. Oh no, this is this is not a good idea. Maybe just research a manual airlock, and we just uh, we just let it out slowly. Yeah, that's what we do. I think. I mean, why would it? Why won't it float somewhere down there forever? Uh, it'll float past the oxygen, but eventually it'll come across carbon dioxide, and it'll try and get on top of that. And the carbon dioxide builds up in a few places, so I'm not overly keen on that. Okay, so the polluted ice has actually melted, and it's formed a liquid lock. Okay, that's good. It's not going to be stable, though, is it? Maybe eventually it'll melt and it'll just go in there. I think we just leave it. It's sealed off for now. I'm not going to worry about it too much. These plants are too cold now. So let's... Uh... Disable these. That one's too cold. Yes, I think we need to prioritize the, the bristle blossoms. So now we've poured all the water in here. I think we just tile this up. We start building the hatch ranch. Yeah, actually, let's just do that instead of what we're currently doing. Let's not bother researching the the airlock. Let's research ranching. Let's build the hatch ranch. At least get it started. I'll leave. I guess I'll leave the ladder here for now. No, I can just I can just ladder here. That's fine. We can strut these. Yeah, let's go back to speed two. Sweep this up. Yeah. I basically want to get on top of food now. We let a little bit of natural gas out. We can go... Oh, there's a geyser here too. Why didn't I spot this? Wow. So there's a geyser here, and there's a geyser here. We're going to find a lot of geysers today. I think I'll ladder across this. Pitch pump this just so we have some polluted water on demand. And then we'll dig in here. We'll grab the gold as well. Gold is always good. Yeah, natural gas is already down here. We, uh, we're not going to have access to smog slugs, which are a good way of getting rid of natural gas. We'll probably just build a filter and just send it to the send it back to the main area. That's probably what we'll do. I, I don't think it's going to get deleted. At least not before we can pump it somewhere. So our hatch ranch is going to be 25 long. 
we're going to fill it with four tiles worth of things. So, it goes up to here. There we go. This will give us some more mealwood as well. A little bit of stuff is getting dumped in here. It's not too bad. Yeah, we, uh... It's not quite hot enough here for the mealwoods. This is just helping us to start. But we're going to need the Brussels Blossoms. I could even just put the hydroponic tiles here, actually. Maybe I should be doing that instead. Yeah. Just, let's just make this all hydroponics. And I'm very quickly, while they're doing this, I'm going to go have a look at uh, the blueprint I've got for what I'm doing for these hatch ranches. Where is that? Okay. So I want at least six... Six or seven tiles free. Okay. So just to make sure I give myself plenty of space, I'm going to put the... the door here. And then the tile. So we're going to keep the hatches in this little area here by having the door and the tile. But the ceiling's going to be here. So it's all still going to count as one room for the hatches. But the rest of this will be Bristle Blossoms. A, because we've got some residual heat coming from this geyser. And B, because we're going to be pumping in water that's at the right temperature. I'm not going to connect this up yet. But we're going to let it keep uh, producing heat and just erupting for now. Let's see. Yeah, do that as well. And then eventually we'll hook up a plumbed bathroom to this area too, but I want to make sure we don't starve first. That is also a game, don't starve. <laughs> How's the research going? Let's get the, the hatch stuff researched. Oh, we need the liquid pump as well. That's definitely something we need. Yeah, in the meantime, dig this all out because you'll get some muck root from that as well. We're consuming 6,500 per day. Okay. Bristle Blossom's here. So they only consume water. They need light as well. So we are going to want to put some lights in. No, 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 stop. <laughs> this always happens. The game doesn't let you select not to put polluted water in here until you discover some. And then it just dumps a load of blue water in here. And now we've got germs and all this water. Great. Where did you even get polluted water from that you could sweep up? I can just sweep this. And hopefully the germs won't spread too bad, but I'm sure they will. I mean it might be it might be cold enough that the germs don't spread. I don't think that's a factor though. I think we're just going to be very disappointed. So... Right, that's done.
mean, they'll die eventually, but it's, it's just not good. Right, furniture. Let's put some lights in. But each light gives seven coverage. So, that should do. speed up a little bit. Yes, yeah, so we've got liquid water in you got polluted water in there. Uh polluted water dump here please. Do you have any to dump at the moment? Oh yeah we did sweep up some polluted water now so yeah we can dump that up there as well. And hopefully that will actually form the liquid seal and it won't just freeze. Yeah, we get to look at these geysers as well, whatever they are. Okay, maybe next cycle. Yeah, this is going to be hatch central. Does the manual door, uh, manual airlock door made from uranium still emit radiation to kill germs? I believe it does. I don't think they've changed that. Um, I have used that before, but it has to be a manual airlock specifically. Yeah, I think it's still fine. We still need to get super duper, uh, super hard digging. It's probably going to be another three cycles or so. And then we can actually get some refined metal. That will help. Because we'll be able to start automating a few things. Uh, let's see, the wire... Uh, we'll just take that here. Or like this, like this. And dig this all up because we're going to want the, the muck root from here as well. We're kind of breaking even on the calorie front at the moment just from digging. But that's only going to last so long. Water here is nice and warm. Well, it looks like the germs will spread out. Eventually the amount will get low enough that they'll just die immediately. I always find it funny when the dupes end up washing their hands with germy water, but somehow they're fine. We have found... Uh, infectious polluted oxygen vent. Okay. There. Spam the X button. Yeah, we got all those tutorials. Cancel these. They get in the way of the actual chat, don't they? We'll leave the research and achievement one up. Okay, so let's enable auto bottle on this and hopefully get a decent volume of uh, polluted water in here. And then it doesn't freeze, hopefully. And then we can actually seal this off. Oh, hold on. what's going on here? Why are you disinfecting the woods? Someone's all germy, someone's a mucky pup. Well, I can't see who it is at the moment. But anyone going in this water is going to get germy. Kathleen has got a skill point. Uh, let's get field research. And actually, let's give you the hat as well. I forgot to give you that hat. It would actually be good to analyze this. Uh, we can't do that until we get super duper hard digging though. But that'll still help her research faster. I think it's usually worth taking that. And get the nice hat. I'm just thinking that this mealwood is growing, but this one isn't. 
These ones are too... These ones are too cold. Probably shouldn't be relying on the mealwood long term. Right, so you're dumping the pollutant water in there. Hopefully that's gonna help this melt. I'm not just gonna get super cold. So now we build this one next. I think we turn this one off again. I would also like to see what's in this geyser. Some more chlorine over here. Liquid chlorine, very spooky. Uh, disable this effect on this, that's fine. We've got the ranching stuff now, that's good. Okay, and then polluted water can go in here, please. Actually, I think we're just going to have to fill these up both up quite a lot. Just because otherwise, if we have a very small amount of polluted water here, it's just going to freeze. So I think we need to make this like an actual deep liquid lock for this to work. Okay, let's speed it up again. More athletic skill, that's nice. Uh, yeah, disinfect that, that's good. Oh, I guess people are going in here and spreading germs on this. That's fine. Okay, let's grab some more research. We want liquid pumps. And then we can start grabbing stuff for the plumb bathrooms as well, because we'll, we'll handle that all through here. We'll just put the, the water sieve over here. And then I'm pretty sure we just put launching station there. Create a feeder there, create a drop off there. And we'll do something with this area eventually. I may just put a coal power plant in there for now, once we get the coal power plants. wonder what it says in that blueprint. Yeah, eventually, eventually we'll fill that space up with other things. You know what, actually, hold on. Sorry. Yeah, we've already got long commutes, but that's because... Um, that's because I've got them building stuff way out here. It's fine. No one's uh, exhausted yet, so that's usually the sign where I start switching it over. You know what, actually, bring this a bit closer. We're going to adjust this later anyways, but we might as well plant the bristle blossoms a bit closer for now. And then that light can just go. I guess we'll just keep the light there. And then that can go there. And then we can fill this with... What are we going to fill it with at the moment? We mostly just want to make stone hatches eventually, but for now we just want regular hatches. So I think we just fill it with sandstone. And we start replacing all the sandstone tiles with uh, granite eventually. We've got a leaky oil fissure. Okay. Well, that's certainly heat, and that is oil, but I'm not going to touch that for now. Okay. Cool. We've got a frozen foresty place up here. It's interesting. Cool beans. Uh, hatches go in here. We'll also need to put a tile over here. Fine. Yeah, because the bristle blossom will actually the bristle blossom won't grow like that. Let's just put the tile. Let's put the tile here. Okay, so that is pumps. Build the pump in here, and then the pipe. Just because I feel like being arbitrary is going to go up here. It's going to go along here. 
Pipes don't have a decor penalty, so it doesn't matter what we do with that. If you leave room for one rock storage bin, you can save a task later. Dupes carry more rock to the storage bin than to the feeder. Yeah, that's true. I'm not sure how long we're going to be manually feeding these guys for, though. Because eventually we're going to be dropping... Eventually we're going to be just dropping Igneous Rock in with a conveyor. And they'll just eat it off the floor. I think I'm fine with this for now. But yeah, we probably will move this out later and we'll cut back on the Bristle Blossoms later. But I think I'll stick with this for now. Um, Let's see... Let's keep going for sanitation. I do want plum bathrooms. We may do plum bathrooms today. It's 10 o'clock. I've got at least another hour. I clicked the wrong button. But we got some achievements. Right. Pay. Let's keep leveling you up and building. I want to get demolition on you just in case. Just in case we need it. Yeah, copy these across. Yeah, natural gas is really annoying. You don't want it in these rooms because it stops plants from growing. Because they like oxygen, pollute oxygen, carbon dioxide. Yeah, everyone's getting to bed on time, so I'm not too concerned about commutes yet. Keep disabling these. Really not getting hot enough for these mealwoods. We're starting to run a little bit low on food. That's yeah, we have priority nine all of this. Priority nine these as well. Hatches and hatchlings in here. Fill that tile. And then we'll need a wire going down here as well. So that can just go like this. We'll uh, we'll remove this wire later or something. I don't know. But yeah, I just hope we can get these actual uh, plants growing. That's the that's the main objective at the moment. We did have quite a lot of seeds. But we probably will find more seeds as well. The plants can grow down to 5 degrees, so this, this existing water is warm enough for them. Refrigerated food. It's fine. So we can come over here and grab this as well. We do need muckroot a little bit. Getting hypothermia. Oh, you're getting hypothermia from building the wire. Yeah, that checks out. So these plants grow every six cycles and produce uh, 1,600 calories. And we can, well, we can't put a farm station here because we're, this is a ranch that we're kind of turning into a farm. Okay, there's the shower stuff. We can actually put a mesh tile in here now. So we'll do that. And then we've got sinks. We want the water sieve as well. So let's research the water sieve. Yeah, I'd like to have plumb bathrooms before the end of the day. Or the end of the stream. Uh, we'll get you ranching as well. So we've got two ranches. Um, 
Yes, you guys are doing all this. Digging, this needs to be priority 9 as well. But we should start the plants growing soon. You're a little bit cold, but you just need to finish building it. These pumps are actually really big. Like, I guess to handle 10 kilograms a second of water, it does have to be quite big in real life. Like, that's, that's eight. That's eight of these. I'm not having any Pepsi, though. I'm being good. Right. We are almost done. So now we're getting some water up there. It's below 10 degrees, but it's above 5 degrees. Harold now has super hard digging. So that's good. Uh, what we'll do then is we'll get you to go through the abyss light. And we'll grab the uh, uranium. Well, I mean, actually we'll grab the lead. We'll leave the uranium for now. It's mildly radioactive. I, we're probably not going to use that, but I mean... I don't want to dig it up just yet. Yeah, that's all the lead. What we got from the pod. I'll take another dupe if they're really good. We have a radiation eater builder, Steve. So that's not bad. It mostly just makes them... The amount of calories isn't very large, but it does make them good at building radioactive stuff. And he's a builder. And he doesn't really have any downsides. You would use him to build anything that involves radiation, but I don't know, that seems kind of narrow. The building is still really good, though. Um, so... Hmm... Also, I do like yodelers. Yodelers are very nice. The, the the buff from the yodeling when they're overjoyed is really good. You know what? I think we'll take a radiation eater. I kind of want to make a um, actual an actual reactor at some point. So yeah, we'll take him. We'll take Steve. We're gonna give you building as well. That's definitely it. That's 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 it. We can't have any more dupes. We're not producing enough food. Yeah, I like Yodelers. I like Steve. And that fills up the mess hall. Yeah, so there we go. That's that's our lot of that's our lot of dupes. Seven's a nice round number. <laughs> Got the mesh tiles there. Uh we still need the light, so this does need to be prioritized. Why isn't this getting prioritized? Oh, you actually can't get over here. Okay. I I made a stupid. There we go. After the last run, I feel bad turning any dupes down. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're getting the lead. We'll research the um We'll research the automation wire now that we've got that. We'll start automating a few things. Oh man. This plant's already getting too cold. I desperately need to stop hiring more people. But it's fun and rewarding to like leave it right on the edge because then you get more stuff done. Worst case will make mush bars. We need to put in an actual kitchen as well. Eventually these rooms will all be repurposed. But for now we are just leaving it like that. So yeah, each of these is going to produce about 260 calories per cycle. So we need four plants per dupe. So we're going to need... So this is five dupes worth, roughly. So we're going to need more up here. So in fact, actually, let's cancel the... Uh... Let's cancel the tiles. Let's put in hydroponics. We'll preemptively do this. So that can go in there as well. Uh, 
and then we'll just plant more. Is everyone getting to bed on time? Uh, Catalina, are you gonna make it? No. Okay, maybe we increase the downtime again. <laughs> We're cutting it somewhat fine. We'll dig these out too. And eventually this will solve our food problem. We just need to solve our food problem before our food problem solves us. In fact, actually, hold on. Before I do all that, let's just make this priority five. Because we need the other stuff to actually be done first. Like, please actually do this first. Please. <laughs> You don't actually need to dig that, that's fine. And I guess I'll put uh, priority five. We'll just have the plumbing start coming this way. We'll figure this out. And we'll just send the waste pipe this way so it doesn't clash with the hydroponics for that. There we go. Still need the wires actually going to the lights. Noted. And then this will eventually complete this as a room, and then we can just have all the hatches in there. I believe all the hatches are hiding, hiding at the moment. Idling? Idling hatches. Okay, so we've got light. These plants are too cold. Why? Hmm. Oh, it's because the metal is too cold. So we need to warm these up a little bit more. I think what I might actually do is I might uh, just tile this in. I might just put a liquid pump here and we'll... <laughs> we'll uh, We'll get this going with the hot stuff. Hmm. We, or actually, maybe instead of doing this, I mean, we'll keep that there as priority five because we might want to do this anyways with the hot water. But what we could do is we could just set this up so that it cycles on a loop. So what we do is... No, wrong button. We put a bridge in here. There's a specific order to doing this. Just give me a second. No, that's not it. Crap. I 
I think I'm overcomplicating this. I think what I actually just need to do is I need to disconnect this here and put in an actual pipe here. We bridge this over here. This is going to look kind of janky. Bridge that over. Bridge that under. And then we send this back down here. We bridge it again. And then we have that water run in here. Then we put a bridge here. Let's connect this. Cancel this. We hook it here. So what this should do, I believe, is this will make a circulating loop of water that will go through the plants. That will draw heat from this. And then it will pump on as it, the loop gets emptied. And that's all priority nine. So let's get that built and see if that works. Our colonists' lives kind of depend on this to work. Yeah, Harold, we need you to dig all of this stuff out. We need all the pipes to actually work. Yeah, so it's starting to let the water move. Because this water will be hot enough if it keeps circulating. We may need to make this section of pipe longer. Maybe not, we'll see. Yeah, we definitely don't want the water to burst in the pipes. But at the moment it looks like it's about to do that. We need to finish this section of pipe here. A is overjoyed, and Harold is trapped. Because I need to build another ladder over here. That was why you weren't digging all of this. That's fine. I guess we could build this stuff as well, but this would be lower priority. Yeah, definitely no more dupes. We can't really handle more dupes without uh, actually growing some food. Let's just make this all the same. Seems okay. Uh, we desperately need this pipe to be finished. Can I just can I just get you to yellow alert the pipe? Yeah, please just do the pipe. I would appreciate it because I want to make sure this water circulating thing works. It should, but it doesn't mean it will. Okay, there we go. So the water is all moving. This water is going to hopefully heat up. We'll just make this loop completely separate to this loop, which is going to be for the bathroom. Yeah, so now the water is at the right temperature. So this plant should start to increase in temperature. <laughs> Why are you decreasing in temperature? <laughs> No, uh, the the lights the lights are producing a little bit of heat, but it's not very much. Probably not a huge amount of heat exchange going on. Crap. 
I mean, we can brute force this by just adding the hot water. We can just do that for now. We're really lucky we came across this water geyser. The only thing is, eventually it'll get too hot. So the question is, do I dump the hot water into this tank and have it slowly heat up this tank? I think that's what we do, because I think that moderates the temperature of this better. I think it gets us to where we want to be, and then we can just automate it once it gets a bit hotter than we'd like. So... Yeah, let's just do that. I'll just put a vent in here. We could put a hot water loop through the base to heat everything. Yeah, we could just have the hot water loop through the the bit above the tiles. That could be that could be a good option. Yeah, maybe we do that for now. So that goes up there. We run it this way. Just for now. This is where the sieve is going to be, though. So we bridge this over. And then... We put a vent here. We bridge this over. <laughs> I feel like this is getting really overcomplicated, but... Um... Whatever. I guess this. I guess this is the main challenge of rhymes, just to keep everything actually uh, hot. And we've kind of lucked out in that we've got a water geyser, so I should actually make use of that. We'll need a wire to go there as well. Because the water is... the water is getting chillier going through here. So I feel like this should already be helping the plants warm up, and I think it is. This might not be totally necessary. But we will eventually want to hook this hot water up anyways. This is actually how we're getting more water. It doesn't seem to be increasing temperature at the moment. So... Yeah, that's priority 9, this stuff. They're getting it built very quickly. I like it. But yeah, the water sieve is going to go here. I planned that out once we've actually done a research, which is quite close to being done. Let's speed to it again. It's going to take a while for this water to get too hot to work with. And we'll get automation research done by then. I haven't actually played a rhyme map in ages. Yeah, aggressively it's too cold over here to really grow these. We are getting more seeds. We are finding more muck root as well, so we're hanging on. But eventually we're going to run out of muck root. Can we actually get over here? We can't. Uh, so let's solve that. Let me just put another ladder in here. So that could be priority 9. We've got a hatch running around in here. The hatch should be in the other bit. However, that's not my priority at the moment. My priority is just farming at the moment, and then we'll sort the hatches out. Golden Duck. That's definitely the best name for a colony I've had. Yep, 
Yeah, get these done, and then we can actually get in here and finish this off. I feel like the plants are warming up, but it's just quite slow. And we don't really have the time to do this. Like, we probably could do this just based off this loop, but it's probably going to take slightly too long. But as we dump more hot water in here, that will help heat this all up. It's funny, I usually start off with really simple piping in my bases, but... Because <laughs> we're already trying to do heat exchange stuff as well, uh, it's getting more complicated. Thankfully, we have a lot of good builders. So stuff is getting done way faster than it was getting done on the, the One Duper Planet Challenge. Which is an immense relief. There's the water sieve. So I think what we do is we put this down here and we feed the bathroom stuff to a bristle blossom down here. So I think what we actually do is dirty water goes in here in the left, comes out on the right, and we run it through the bristle blossom. It goes through like this. We don't get any excess polluted water because we turn it into regular water. Then we run that down here. We put a hydroponics farm here. Each one of these consumes how much water? 20 kilograms per cycle. That's not going to be enough. <laughs> That's not going to be enough. Um, excess water consumption. Maybe we just hook this up straight to the bristle blossoms. The main ones. There's not going to be enough capacity down here to do that. We could just put some more bristle blossoms in here, running off bathroom stuff. That seems kind of pointless. <laughs> we need it all to be heated. Yeah, I think I just run it down here. And I think what I do is... I use a bridge again to prioritize the water flow. So it will go into the back to the bathroom loop first, and then if there's any excess, it will get fed into. I'll just put it. This is all going to end up germy if I do that. So I need to feed it into the plants. Also, I need to do this. And then I need to do this. Okay, so what that does is that feeds the water on preferentially from the water sieve onto the loop. So if the water sieve is emptying, the loop will stop to fill it up this way. This is getting a bit too complicated. We'll just we'll just build it and see if it works. A wire goes down here. What else needs doing? Pipe blocked, because we need the vent. We haven't put the vent in. That's fine. Put that in. This is not any hotter than it was. Yeah, exactly. We'll build and we'll see exactly what happens. I feel like I've prioritized everything correctly with the bridges, but I mean, who knows. Right, this is running again now. So hopefully this is going to help warm the plants in the area. Radiant piping would certainly help, but I think ultimately if we're just feeding the plants hot water, that will help. Now what's going on? I mean, it's kind of flowing. Kind of slowly. We're dumping the hot water in here. The 
water on the loop is heating up. I think I need to make this pipe longer. We have the joy of pliers, so I'm just going to build all the pipe now. And we'll actually organize it later. Um, in terms of research, what else do we need? I think that's everything for the bathroom loop. Uh, we don't need this. Problem is, if, the, if these plants don't consume enough water... Then the bathroom excess won't be able to go onto the loop. The, the system depends on the plants actually working. Also do it probably just a little bit more power. Put a manual generator in here too. Well, this is turning out to be harder than I expected. Yeah, the water is circulating, so it's not getting very hot. We just need to actually get it circulating in here for longer absorb more of the heat and then once these plants are actually getting hot water they will get hotter but the moment the water flowing through this is very cold we're trying our best to heat this area but it's not going super well Yeah, build all these pipes. Speed it up and then we'll uh, we'll have fun with pliers. Also, everyone's going to get hypothermia. That doesn't really surprise me. I think we murder the shine bug and we actually start ranching their hatches as well. Because the sooner we can get that online, the better. Let's actually try and wrangle these guys. Yeah, there's hatches in here. There's a hatch in there as well. You can get quite a few of these. Uh, let's get these, this uh, ceiling as well. Got heat over here because the algae diffuser is producing heat. And eventually this will fill up. In fact, I should make this mesh harder so that it can all get to the same level. But that's not relevant yet, so we'll priority 5 that. How's it looking hatch-wise? We've actually almost got all the hatches here. That's pretty good. So you're going to start uh, ranching these guys. Yeah, you'll start ranching them soon. Yeah, we just need us to actually exchange the heat with the water. Why is this? I guess this is probably running out of power. We also need to prioritize that wire, so let's just get this done.
Yeah, you guys were getting hypothermia probably isn't helping with this. Okay, we filled up, <laughs> we filled this up a while ago. I'm glad I uh, didn't let this overflow. That would have been really bad. That's good. So we can get in here and do stuff, but I'm not super interested in that at the moment. We just need to actually get food production going. We could build a tepidizer as well, but we don't need to. We've got enough heat energy coming from this. We just need to actually convey it properly to the plants. And then once it is conveying to the plants, the sieve should work. Uh, we probably need insulated tiles. That's probably what we actually need. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab that. That's here. Because at the moment, any heat that we're leaking, uh, we're using to heat this up, is probably heating up all this air as well. Uh, let's see, printables. I uh, definitely don't want any more dupes. I'll definitely take some more blossom seeds. Because that is kind of what we're trying to do at the moment. Hooray, blossom seeds. And Lara, you can have supplying too. Because we do want a mechatronics person sooner rather than later. So I think what I actually do is I replace this wall with insulated tile. We make this whole bit insulated. But for now we just need to tile it off. I think the plants are heating up. It's just taking time. Yeah, if you can actually get these built, that would also be really helpful. I understand the working conditions aren't exactly ideal down here, uh, but I appreciate the effort. Um, I think I let everyone have their downtime and then I yellow alert it. Because these mealwoods are getting colder and colder. Because I think all the heat we're generating is just dissipating into the, the vast coldness of the map. Be good to analyze this eventually as well. Although at the moment, anyone who goes in here will get scolded, so let's not do that. Okay, we've got a full hatch ranch. Why are you cramped? There are eggs in here. Are there really eggs in here already? Ugh, there are. God damn it. How on earth are there already two eggs in here? They just got laid. Right, you know what? This is now becoming the egg bin. And I think we just deconstruct this. Right, do you know what? You know what this. There we go. Grab the eggs. We want an automated dispenser for that eventually, but for now we'll just move them all down here. Plants! They're growing because we just planted them. They're probably not going to stay that warm. I don't know. Maybe they will. <laughs> I don't think they will with this water circulating through them at the moment. 
Yeah, keep building these. Then we can increase the amount of heat dissipation going on. This water is getting hotter, which is good. I think what we want to do is we want to put a thermo sensor in here and stop dumping when this water is like 25. Right, okay. Let us hook this up now with pliers. This is the fun part. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I like this uh, mod so much, because it lets you do stuff like this. In fact, let's actually... The only bit that needs to be preserved is... Probably this bit. So let's see. Go like this. Ah, that's gonna annoy me. Okay, you know what? Let's try something else. Iman imagine having to plan pipes elsewhere. Ha ha ha. Yeah, this is a little bit of a cheat, but it makes the game a lot more fun, so... Whatever. Oh, that is so annoying. That's really pissing me off. Whatever. And then we actually need to hook it on here. Oh man, that's annoying. Do I keep trying to do this endlessly? Or do I just accept defeat somewhere? The tile is warm too. Also, I definitely screwed this up. This shouldn't go here. It should go here. Yeah, that's good enough. Not gonna agonize over that, or am I? Well. That's good enough. That's not good enough. There we go. Perfect. Definitely no problems with this. Right, okay. The funny thing is, we'll we'll ex we'll have to extend this up when the water level builds as well. But I mean, whatever, that's fine. So now we just need to build this immediately, and then that should start circulating again. But yeah, these hatches are all getting groomed. That's good. That's progress. We're a little bit low on food. Uh, let's keep digging here. So the loop is filling, the water is flowing. Let's just uh, speed to this for a little bit and see how it goes. Power is a little bit low. How much power are we actually drawing? A lot, because 
with the lights, with the oxygen diffusers. Do I actually have two oxygen diffusers? I do. Yeah, we're drawing a lot of power, so we've got two dupes running at the moment. We do actually kind of need um, pole power, I think. So we'll focus on the automation as well. I think we'll have to do that next time. I'll keep going for another 15 minutes because I really want to see how this actually goes. The water goes in here at 0 point, minus 0 0.5. This water is at 1.8. We got... Ventilation stuff. Okay, that's not relevant at the moment. Yeah, because this water is too hot to pipe directly to the plants, so I don't really want to pipe it directly into the plants at any point. make this all germy water it's already all germy water maybe i just do that and i just dump the excess bath water in here we're not actually using the water coolers they're just there for the great hall bonus and we're not making life slow i think we do just do that instead of this So what we actually do is we deconstruct this and deconstruct this pipe bridge. And then I probably just put in a new vent over here. And then that just goes up like this. Yeah, and at least that way our bathroom loop isn't depending on the, the plants growing. And I do just want a functional bathroom loop. There you go. So... How are we letting water on? let the water on like this and then let's be able to deconstruct all of these and build all the toilets because I think this will work now we do have sand the sieve I didn't overlook that furniture we'll put the lamps in uh, we won't automate them yet we'll just stick them in at the moment partly because we want the heat and partly because we want the uh the uh the bathroom speed so we want lavatories these need to be yellow alerts i think i'll do it how i did it here it seemed reasonable Okay, I guess we did the sink first. I think it really depends on who actually does the task first. I don't want to mess around with that. So if this loop gets um, empty at any point, it will fill from coolant pipe. But it will prioritize it on uh, the, or the. It's not coolant, it's heated. No. Can slowly deconstruct plant plots and rebuild to heat them back up again. Yeah, I could. These are actually hot enough now. 
the temperature is actually enough that they, they're hot enough now. So I think we're getting there. Yeah, these are heating up pretty quickly. I think this is working. Yay, plants. Plants, bathrooms, plants. So the sieve is working. Let's just watch this all in action. We'll have the downtime so we'll get to see how that works. So yeah, that's all gonna fill up. Wait, why is the polluted water backing up? Oh, because the sieve isn't being powered. Yeah, that's the next question, isn't it? Power. Hmm. Well, if these plants are getting hot enough, we may not need the insulated tiles. It's probably good to get them anyways. Well, they're not. <laughs> they're not. Uh, Power at the moment. Maybe we do just need power. We'll do that next time. We'll go for one more cycle, I think. I like it, the little radiator. It's getting about two degrees of heating by the looks of it. Each time it passes through. And then it comes through here at about 8.4. It comes out. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure how reliable those numbers are. But I think it is heating the plants. Yeah, I want to I want to mechanize these guys fairly soon. Uh, at the moment, I'm going to disconnect this because we don't have enough seeds for these yet. I don't want to power these lights if they're not actually doing anything. So yeah, I think that is work as intended. The excess is coming out of the bathroom rather than out of this. <laughs> All the natural gas has ended up placed around down here. That's not helping the plants, is it? Well, we can keep exploring down here as well. Grab some more muck green. Oh, that's cold again now. Very difficult for me to know how much this is actually consistently being heated up or not. Because to me it looks like the water is coming in hot. They are constantly dumping hot water in here as well. But you can see here that it's starting to get hot. We do need seeds as well, so I think we just keep digging. Just keep digging, see what we can find. We want both bristle blossom seeds and the uh, and the muck roots. Yeah, you can dig this too. Okay, that's heated up again. 
Let's see how much this heats up over the course of a day. We're actually getting a lot of heat being conducted into the copper. <laughs> it was somewhat unintentional. But uh, that's fine. Why are you grabbing all that water? Oh, okay, that's for research. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, they're starting to starting to grow a bit more. It's going to take a while to ramp all this up, so we'll just stay on less dupes while it's ramping up. But I think this should work. And then eventually this water will be hot enough. We can just plant up here and it's not going to cause any issues. I could just replant these again. How hot do I have to get? Yeah, you know what? Let's let's actually do your suggestion. Let's let's uproot these and replant them. Then they should retain their heat. Because I don't want to starve. Yeah, just grab all the plants. <laughs> that's a pretty good <laughs> that's a pretty good thumbnail. I like sleeping. Do you like sleeping? I don't have cold gen yet. Uh, I actually don't. We'll, we'll get we'll get some cold gens. We'll do that next time. Uh, we have the refined metal down here for automation. I just wanted to automate it first. Coal generators produce heat as well. They're pretty good. Uh, wait, what are you doing? Oh, I guess we're planting them over here. That's fine. Uh... Yeah, there's no reason that wouldn't be fine. Because they're going to get hot here. Or they're going to get hot in the other place. They're losing the heat very quickly. The water is still mostly warm enough. But the internal temperature is dropping very quickly. We need, we need coal research next. I was trying to get insulated tiles so we could lock the heat in this area a bit better. Because obviously at the moment it's all just kind of getting leached out. Maybe we are better off getting coal power. Yeah, that didn't work. They're not, they're not hot enough. No, don't. No, stop. Hmm. We'll just replant them where they were before. Sorry, one of you is going to have to come back. <laughs> I uh, forgot. Yes, yeah, so replant these, please. At least the bathrooms are working. The loop is work is intended. It's feeding off the water sieve before it uh, feeds off this loop. Okay. And now they're not growing because of the lights. Hmm. It does still occur to me that maybe I should just put coal plants here to also provide extra heat. Because we're going to need coal plants anyways. The 
It's definitely the next thing on the list. Hmm. Well, I'm not entirely sure <laughs> that uh, it's the best uh, first um, first uh, day of a colony I've had. But um, we have got some things. We've got plum bathrooms. Uh, we survived. You made an interesting radiator down here. Probably make it with some better materials, to be honest. But this water is relatively hot. We're trying to dissipate the heat over this area. It's kind of working, but we need a we need it better insulated. I'm probably just gonna wrap insulated tile around this whole bit. I'm eventually gonna keep stacking more of these hatch ranches on here, but that will come later. We have got the hatches breeding, so that's good. Got some hatch eggs down here. Got some more wild ones down here. Actually, let's wrangle these guys. This room is finished, but we need to put doors here as well. It doesn't need to be all of that. Yeah, we can wrangle more guys and put them in there. Yeah, we are finding a decent amount of hatches. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to save it there. And I think I'm going to wrap it up for now. Maybe change direction of water flow so the lower tier of plants gets hot water then it cools in the upper tier. Yes, that does make sense. Yeah, let's actually do that now before I forget. Because at the moment we, yeah, because I mean, I don't think it's, because at the moment the water comes out of here about, yeah, it's, it's heating this area up, but there's no plants here at the moment. That is very true. Um, so what actually would happen here is, right, let's go over to the next cycle very quickly. Let's reverse the flow. You can strut that bridge. I swear it takes forever to deconstruct these actual bridges. Okay. So now what's actually going to happen is... Pipe will go like this. Go up here. And then I'll come back down here. And then I'll get very confused and I'll cry. <laughs> no. Um, and then we send it. We have too many bridges. I think what we have to do is we have to move this pipe over here. Uh, you can strut this. You can strut this. And then do it like this. Oh no, we don't have to do this. Hold on. I'm being stupid. Right. Let's just do that first. And hopefully not leak water anywhere. So we can actually deconstruct this bridge. Move that bridge one over. Yeah. And then this pipe can just come down here, like this. Yeah. 
and then separate this. And I could have left that pipe there. So now let's watch this. Well, build that pipe and then we'll watch it briefly. Yes, yeah, so now the loop is flowing up here and then it will get there. So that's going to help at least initially to get this right temperature. And I think we leave it like that. It's fine. Pipe doesn't have a decor penalty anyways. Cool, yes. Thanks Thanks for the tip. That, that should help. I mean, at least with all the running on the wheels, they're getting some athletic skill. We are getting more muckroot as well. There is lots of muckroot, so we've got a little bit of leeway. Yeah, I think we're getting there. Anyways, I've got to go now. It's getting a bit late. But thank you for watching. It's been really nice. Um, to anyone who's uh, stuck around for Max's raid, thanks for sticking around. I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, Max does a lot of great things in Oni. Um, and yeah, it's always it's always nice hanging out there as well. Uh, so let me give a shout out. If my command works, the max not binary. In case anyone's watching who not there. There you go. That actually worked. But yeah, I stream usually this game uh, Mondays to Fridays, seven to eleven GMT ish. Uh, sometimes I play Noita. Sometimes I play other games like Dyson Sphere Program and Stellaris and that sort of thing. Uh, feel, feel free to follow if you want more Oni stuff. You want to see how the Rhyme Asteroid pans out. Um, and if you want to watch any of my previous stuff, it's all on YouTube. Which is here. I have like memes and discussion videos and stuff on there as well. But uh, yes, I'm going to head off now. But thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you later. Bye for now. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go raid uh, to Legit City because he's playing Oxygen Not Included now as well. And he's, uh, he's a good egg. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ever get ready, I'll uh, send you over to him in a minute. Start the raid on uh, To Legit City in uh, five seconds. Everyone, uh, get your best Whiskers impression going. Three, two, one, go. Bye for now. <laughs>